Armani returned home to get back to her normal life. This is where she's most comfortable. Thinking, dreaming, on now what could be. With her confidence, so rejuvenating, Armani feels like she can do anything. She has a new way of thinking, and now she believes in herself. She realizes that it's not what people think of her that matters. It's about what she thinks of herself. It's about loving yourself. These are the lessons that we're taught with Goddess Venus. With her magical spell, it changed the way Armani looked at things in life. She looked at her reflection in the mirror as she experienced great confidence, something that she has never felt before. She walked with great pride, with her head held high. Now, now when she has finally seen the love of her life, the desire of her heart, she sees him in a different light. And Brandon looks at her in a different way, not like before. It's the energy that she carries with her. It's the confidence. It's magical. Knowing who you are, no matter what anybody says about you, she thinks to herself, is the most liberating feeling of all. She looked at Brandon in a different way now, a very handsome man. She had seen him many times before. He was dark-haired with broad shoulders, tall, dark, and handsome. She seemed always afraid to talk to him in the past. Then she had never dared to talk to him or even bothered to try to meet him. She was always afraid back then. She felt she was not worthy. However, (laughs) with her newly, newly, way of thinking and the confidence she had. The beauty that was always there. It took Goddess Venus' spell to allow her to see her beauty. Back then, her eyes were shut. She wasn't able to see. Maybe it was from her dark past, the things that she's been through, They clung to her like a heavy weight. It was difficult for her in her past. As she was growing up, feeling unloved, hearing words of rejection. (laughs) When she was growing up, there wasn't even a kind word she heard in the household growing up with her family. But now, now, it seems like Goddess Venus spell was able to liberate her from the bondage that she was in. Amazing. It's something she has never felt before. Now, with her newly found beauty and confidence, she figured now she can talk to her desired love. She indeed promised to find true love. Goddess Venus told her that she will. 
is in destiny. It's written in the stars, she said. You will find true love. Never fret, never doubt. Love will find you. Now, she looks at Brandon and the way he looks at her, their eyes lock together. Amani waited for the right time to introduce herself to this handsome young man. It turns out that he now is the one <laughs> that's actually nervous. As he laid eyes on Amani, his energy of confidence has shifted. She radiated so much beauty and confidence. It was quite intimidating, I must say. Brandon thought to himself, Wow, she is beautiful. Her eyes are gleaming. The aura she carries around her, it's so inviting. The beauty that she possesses, he felt intimidated, though his eyes, her beauty was breathtaking. He felt a strong, powerful energy pulling him in the direction of Armani. This was the magic he felt that was cast by Goddess Venus, Love Potion. Amazing. She felt his eyes watching him. She felt his energy very strong, even though they were distant away. He felt a strong, powerful energy pulling him in the direction of Armani. This was the magic he felt that was cast by the spell. Finally, they both came together. They united. They sat in the park, hearing the birds chirp, looking at the beautiful daisies in the garden, a line with the red tulips they admired the beauty. It was like a garden of paradise. Everything was so nicely trimmed. The trees. It was as if the trees were talking to them. I kind of think. Maybe the trees were. Armani said to Brandon, do you hear that? I hear the trees talking, feeling the wind, the breeze that goes through her hair, and Brandon looks deep in her eyes. The birds are chirping, it's as if they're relaying a message. It sounds quite magical. I kind of feel the birds are cheering us on, Armani says. Brandon? Really? Yeah. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes. They are beautiful, as Brandon looks deep in Armani's eyes. He can't take his eyes off off of Armani. Her energy is very strong. Wow. Amazing. She says. He says yes. Amazing. The power that radiated from her, he couldn't fight. 
He felt this overwhelming feeling. He had an unrelenting desire to stay with her, to continue, to sit under the magical tree and hear the birds chirping and hear and feel the breeze and the wind blowing in this magical garden. These were women who bragged of their own beauty but were hiding cruel hearts Brandon shared with her that many he came encountered with but there was just something about them he felt he couldn't connect with he said their minds were shallow he said at one time Brandon's heart was broken. Amarni looked at Brandon and she was very shocked, but she wanted to hear more about Brandon's broken heart. Actually, Amani wanted to be the one to heal Brandon's heart. Her confidence was so great that she knew that she had the ability to heal his heart, to bring comfort to his spirit. He spoke about these women. They were hiding cruel hearts in shallow minds. But deep down inside, Brandon desired someone that was less shallow, but more empathetic. Armani came from humble beginnings. She knew how to value the most important things in life, even with her new confidence from the spell of goddess Venus alchemy. She also held a great knowing of who she is on the inside. She knew the value of beauty and confidence. After all, she was once without such confidence. There was something about his energy, Amani thought to herself, something about him that I can't put my finger on it but I'm drawn to it I feel connected to it I feel connected to him Armani says she felt his energy as she intuitively knew that he suffered from the countless failed shallow encounters But Brandon hid his feelings. He covered his heart. He guarded his heart at one time. But with Amarni, he felt that she was someone that he can confide in because she was different. Amani hid nothing from Brandon, and she shared her heart and mind with him freely. He felt such a sense of comfort when he was with Amani. He learned to trust again, seeing in her someone genuine and what he wanted deep down inside. Brandon could not only see the elusive outer beauty of Amani could not before see, but he saw her inner beauty and her humbleness. After months passed, the pair became inseparable, both being precisely what each other needed to fill the void in each other's heart. They were truly 
meant to be together. They were two souls united in love. This is what Goddess Venus hoped for. Her energy, her spirit was around them both, protecting them. Day by day, the love that they had for each other would grow immensely. While they were in the secret garden, Goddess Venus was back staring in her rose quartz crystal ball. Her intention was needed here quite regularly, but it wasn't often that she felt this type of energy. This energy was powerful. She was amazed at the results of the spell that was cast. She was happy that the two souls, two souls, have united together in love. It was clear that Amani the woman in question was hurting quite severely over the unrequited love that Brandon was burdening her with. While Brandon had fallen off the path, he needed to be on just to pursue his desire, the power, and his desire to belong. It was difficult in this situation. Goddess Venus decided, but it wasn't one that could not be solved through the help of her own healing powers, because this was healing most indefinitely. Goddess Venus saw it as her duty to help Armani fulfill her destiny by pulling Brandon back onto the path where he belonged. With Goddess Venus' spell, it changed the, the dynamic immensely. Now, the man that she desired, Amani, was once in an unrequited love. And now, the spell has worked. It broke the curse of the unrequited love, and Brandon desires her more than ever than before. More than ever. She screamed from the top of her lungs as Brandon looks at her. What did you say, Amani? Oh, nothing. <laughs> wow. Goddess Venus stared in her rose quartz as she summons a dove, fluttering its wings beautifully upon her crystal ball. Goddess Venus smiled, showing the symbol of love and freedom the highest form of respect. The bird was going to help her set things right between Armani and Brandon for good. And it would be her great desire to deliver the goddess spell and to unite the two lovers together permanently, exclusively. Her spell consisted of the magical healing powers of her herbs, which she kept closely to her rose quartz crystal, a strong combination 
of cinnamon to amplify the sweetness of their love. Elderflower to show them both that love was sacred. And passion flower to remind them of the suffering that unrequited love would cause. Would certainly help Armani to get her love back to where it needed to be with her forever. Goddess Venus Alchemy worked hard day and night creating this spell and working the magic under the full moon where it's most potent and powerful. After Goddess Venus made her spell and worked it, then the spell was delivered to her by the friendly dove now sitting on top of her rose quartz crystal. The spell had been cast on a pendant in a shape of a similar white dove that Armani would receive and know to attach to the necklace around her neck. Then, when Brandon would see it, the spell would be cast on him and the two would find their way back to one another, igniting them in passionate scene of desire, longing for love. 